Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning into this video. Today I want to talk about my recap and my experiences back at Flatiron's Software Engineering Coding Bootcamp. If you're looking into like different bootcamps and Flatiron is one of your options, definitely stay tuned for at the end I'll give my overall experience and give it a score out of 10. A little nice. disclaimer, I would definitely recommend you guys go out and check out other videos to get different, as many perspectives as you can before you decide to choose a bootcamp. There's so many factors that can determine whether you have a good or bad experience. I'm different from you guys and hopefully you guys can like find this video helpful in your journey of deciding which bootcamp to choose. So the software engineering program was 15 weeks broken down into five sections. One, JavaScript. Two, React. Three, Ruby. Four, Rails and five portfolio phase. And within each section, it was three weeks long, so every week had a different theme or a goal. And this was repeated throughout each section. So the first week of each section was full of lectures. We had a lot of labs, a lot of like learning to do. It was all about just like absorbing as much as you could and asking questions and understanding the material so that for the second week, the coding challenge. This is essentially like a test. They don't want to call it a test. And the code challenge itself was two hours long. You're given like three main goals and then you had three optional goals to sort of like get like extra credit. You had to get the bare minimum of getting these three things done. And then after that, you can do the other three if you, if you have more time. It was always a second week. My friends and I would be on Discord just staying up late, just stressing out and just always hearing each other out. Being like, yo, we got this, we got this. And then next second we're like, oh my God, we don't got this. And it was just like this, up and down journey of us just constantly encouraging each other and that was super helpful in my journey because without that support I, I definitely would have not been able to finish this boot camp. The third week, the last week of every phase was our project week. I loved finally putting my hands on the steering wheel. You get to create applications and sort of see it come to life on, on your browser. And it's just like this game of like teamwork and it just always brings a smile to my face. It can also be the most stressful week because this is where you have to be a bit more strict about your work-life balance because it's easy to be like, oh shoot, I didn't get this part of the project done and I have to get it done by Friday. And then you start grinding out 12 hour work days and then you just like, you don't find time for yourself and you feel so burnt out. And that can carry on into the following week when you have to start absorbing new material. So it's just this constant game of like balancing, like oh, am I resting enough? Oh, am I doing enough work? In my opinion, that was like the biggest lesson. That's what we were, every single person was just sort of like balancing and trying to get and understand. Cause I remember Flatiron, they put a lot of emphasis on, we need to learn how to learn, right? That's like the goal so that it doesn't matter what we learn since we know how to learn and we have this like efficient engine in our brain that'll help us pick up on things and not be overwhelmed when we feel like we have imposter syndrome or when we feel like we're not good enough. Every single day is different, but if I were to say like, like an average of all the days, this is probably how it looked like. So 9.30, that's the first meeting of the day. And this is where we come in with our own questions. If we have anything about lecture or about the schedule or about the curriculum. And we also say like our good mornings and like everyone has a coffee and um, just ready to start off the day. It's like the stretching before the race. So once we finish our stand up, we would have pair coding for the next two hours, right up until lunch. You would be paired up with another cohort member, do like a mini coding challenge. You would be given an assignment and you would have to take turns navigating and driving. So this is a term commonly used in coding where one individual is doing the typing and the other individual is gonna be guiding them. And this, this went on for the first couple weeks actually and then it eventually switched into optional time for us to whether work on labs or to review on lectures like it just gave a lot of like freedom to just do whatever you need to do so after this like block of time you usually had lunch and lunch was an hour long so that sort of gave you a lot more freedom to focus on the things you got to do a lot of people during this time I'm pretty sure went out on walks did groceries I went to the gym a couple times doing the things you need to do before lecture so that you feel caught up and you feel ready for lecture. And at 2 p.m. we had lecture. Pretty straightforward, we were on Zoom. Uh, we had an instructor explaining the new material, asking questions, and us doing activities at the end. It was pretty interactive, actually. It was a long time though, two hours sitting there. Thankfully, they gave us a break in between, but it can, some days, when you're burnt out, lectures can be rough. One cool thing we had every Friday was something called Friday Feels. This, in my opinion, was 
the thing I always looked forward to at 4.30 every Friday. We would all come back into a Zoom meeting right before the weekend and just give each other encouragement, give shout outs to people or how tired we are or how happy and excited we are that we finally understand the material. So I know I promise you guys like I'll give a score out of 10. I'll give it like a rubric and then I'll like take an average of the five sections. So first thing is cost. The average coding bootcamp costs around $15,000. Flatiron was $16,900 before scholarships, and they do offer scholarships. I was able to get one for $3,000, so it brought down my tuition to a little less than $14,000. Because of the cost of Flatiron, I would give it a 7 out of 10. So the next part of the rubric is going to be the curriculum. Um, in here, I was considering like pace, the material, how applicable the knowledge was and uh, the format of the whole curriculum. I give it an 8 out of 10. The reason why I didn't give it a 10 was because for the job hunt and interviews you need to know data structures and algorithms because a lot of companies will test you on that. A lot of our bootcamp was more focused around the real world skills necessary to like flesh out web applications. I mean there are tons of resources and it's there are enough resources for us to learn it on our own. If it was incorporated at least a little bit into the curriculum, the score would definitely be higher. But for the curriculum, I give it an 8 out of 10. Community, I give it an 8.5 out of 10. For community, I gave a score based on like how authentic I felt the instructors were, how many events there were to connect with their peers. Every every Monday, like we would have like an, an event manager just post like a humongous long message on Slack saying like, hey, like check out these things this upcoming week. Yeah, I give it an 8.5 out of 10. For a community. The next section of the rubric is going to be the career services. My career coach is super cool, super down to earth, very relatable too. And again, this is my experience and I just appreciate having this accountability in my journey and especially being so fresh and new to this field. Um, having that extra guidance and backbone is super helpful and I give a score a 9 out of 10. So the last section of the rubric for me is going to be the boot camp life balance. Being able to be done with mandatory meetings essentially by like 4 or 5.30 latest gave me so much time to allocate the time I wanted. Thankfully like, I don't have a lot of other responsibilities. I know a lot of my core members had children or they were like working part time and I actually give this a 10 out of 10. And I think averaging out all five scores, my average score for my experience at Flatiron School is an eight and a half out of 10. I had an amazing experience meeting new people with all different types of backgrounds, different ages and different experiences, where it's just like a hot pot of different cultures, and it was just an amazing experience to be part of a community where we were all working together to strive for a goal. It was definitely one of the best months of my life. I want to thank all my instructors and all my friends and all my peers who helped me embark in this journey. I know it's a long video, but that's my little recap of my overall experience back at Flatiron School. And if you guys have any questions or any concerns or anything you want to learn more about, if you want to work on projects together, please reach out to me. I look forward to keeping in touch with you guys and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.